Buenos dias, Sunny Slope plugged in kids, and welcome to all our visitors out there. Wow, today is Sunday, May 3rd. Where did last month go? I'm Pastor Kathy, and Pastor Russ is late again. Pastor Russ! Pastor Russ! Pa uh, wow, okay. Um, so why are you late again? Well, I'm sorry, I got a little wrapped up in what I was doing. Well, why are you dressed like that? Well, I wanted to be a rapper. <gasps> okay, then, boys and girls. Um, Pastor Russ is actually wrapped up in grave clothes like this for several reasons. First, because we're learning about Lazarus and how Jesus raised him from the dead today. And also, for the second reason is to remind us that when we ask Jesus to be the Lord of our lives, we no longer have to worry about death. He promised that we would live with him and God forever in heaven. Second, to remind us that when we ask Jesus to be the Lord of our lives, we no longer have to worry about death. Because when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he promised us that we would live with him and God in heaven forever. In other words, Jesus set us free from the worry of death. So Pastor Russ, uh, I know that you've actually asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life many years ago, right? So you don't need to be wearing grave clothes. Okay, so what do you say we rip those off? Okay, let's see. I'm free! I feel like celebrating, don't you, Pastor Russ? Boys and girls, will you stand up at home and join us? Let us praise the Lord together, okay? Pastor Kathy go? 
I'm here, I'm here, oh, oh, oh. I'm here. Okay, so, like, um, I just wanted to change my hair again. Because, like, the other day, my friend Jordan, she had, like, the cutest little um, unicorn thing on. And with ears and a unicorn. And it looks so cute. So I just thought I would try it, too. So, anyway, what do you think, Pastor Russ? Past where did he go? Did you guys see where he went? Uh, I just wanted to get something. Oh, okay. What? Did, what? What? Well, it's just one of those things. Like, oh, wow, that's magical. Yes. Okay, well, boys and girls, what do unicorns and magic have in common? Um, hmm. That's right. They're just pretend, aren't they? I love to play pretend and dress up, don't you? But how do you know the difference between what is pretend and what is real? Well, one thing I know for absolute sure, the Bible is real. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And um, in John 14, 6, it says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In John 1, 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In John 1, 14, it says, The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. So, boys and girls, the Bible is mostly about Jesus, and Jesus is mostly about the Bible. Um, you know what's really cool, though, is that God and Jesus never lie. They can't. It's impossible for them to lie because they're both perfect. What's really cool, too, is that they love us. They love us so much. And they want to help us with everything in our lives. When Lazarus died, Jesus came to help him, even though everyone thought it was too late. If you guys want to follow along in your Bibles, we will be reading from John 11, 38, 44. So, I am going to fill you in on the story leading up to the scripture. Lazarus, Mary, and Martha were friends of Jesus. He had been to their house, and it was this Mary that anointed the Lord with the fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair. Lazarus was very sick, and his sisters sent for Jesus with a message saying, Lord, behold, he who you love is sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, the sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. That's kind of weird, huh? Okay, even though Jesus loved Martha and Mary and Lazarus, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. And then he said to the disciples, let us go to Judea. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep but I am going to go there to wake him up. The disciples thought Jesus was talking about real sleep, that Lazarus is actually really asleep. But then Jesus told them, no, Lazarus is dead. When Jesus got there, Lazarus had already been dead in the tomb for four days. Jesus knew that he was going to do a miracle. Martha ran out to meet Jesus, and when Jesus told her that her brother would rise again, she thought he was talking about the last days. Boy, was she in for a big surprise. Well, that's when Jesus told her that he was the resurrection and the life. Mary joined her sister, Martha, and Jesus. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Jesus, once more, was deeply moved, came to the tomb, it was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there's a bad odor, and he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man 
came out. His feet and hands were wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Do you guys kind of feel like you're stuck in a tomb? This shelter in place thing can kind of make us feel that way, huh? We're stuck. But just like Jesus resurrected Lazarus from the dead, Jesus can help us through the shelter in place thing too. It may not happen right away. Remember, he waited four days to resurrect Lazarus. We know God's timing is perfect, and we know he will always get us through. It's kind of like this bouquet of roses here. We are stuck at home. We can't go to church. We can't go to school. We can't even go to the park. And we can't see our friends. Okay? So, uh uh-oh. All the blessings are gone, aren't they? Uh Uh-oh. Well, let's see. Maybe we could try magic. Maybe magic will make it come back. Okay, let me try it again. Nope, not working. What do you think we should do, Pastor Russ? We should pray. Okay, I'm going to pray over it. Lord, I pray you bring, bring the blessings back and help us to have beautiful blooms again. In Jesus' name. Okay. There's blooms coming. Look at that. Wow. And you know what? They're a different color this time, guys. Look at that. They're blue. Okay. So the magic didn't work, but the prayer did. Okay. Um, Prayer is always the best thing to do, isn't it, boys and girls? So children, whenever we need help, we can always go to the Lord. Will you bow your heads with me now? Dear Heavenly Father, you know that we are stuck at home right now and we are really tired of it. We know that you work all things together for good to those who love you and who are called according to your purpose. And we also know that your timing is perfect. We put our hope in you knowing that when it's time, we will be able to leave home again. Please watch over all of us. Keep us safe and our family members and our friends safe and well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, that's all for this week, boys and girls. So we're going to close things out with a little song, okay?